All right, man, we back. It's your boy, CJ Goodfellow, Mercy Sports Talk, and let's talk about Kira Lewis as we kind of um, wind down the draft spotlight. Man, I'm going to probably do a few more, but uh, let's talk about it. Check out the draft spotlight playlist, kind of Lions and Pistons over the last year or two, but also check out Detroit Lion, Detroit Pistons Talk playlist for more videos like this. And, uh, man, it just get better and better, man, when I dig deeper in this draft, and I think... Uh, I think Kira Lewis is the best point guard I've seen so far. Everybody know my favorite outside LaMelo has been hell burning. We look at Kira Lewis, he got ball handling. He's fast in the end. Um, good at finishing um, at the cup. He can shoot the rock, catch and shoot, shoot off the dribble. Um, he can create. The only thing I, I looked at I really noticed that's a deficiency in him is basically he don't really have that explosive leaping ability. But look at some of the greatest point guards of all time. They haven't had that. Magic Johnson. Isaiah Thomas, um, Oscar Roberts, um, John Stockton, Steve Nash, Mark Jackson would just pure point. I'm not saying he's the greatest. Or in that conversation, just looking at point guards, they naturally, you know, this generation of point guards has been different. Mark Price was a good underrated one. Terrell Brandon, another underrated one before the uh, injuries. But, um, you know, he, he's a tremendous in the end, ball handling, shoot it, catch and shoot, off the dribble. And his explosiveness and then his lack of in-between game. Maybe the lack of a floater. think he's going to need that. And also, he should work on his mid-range game. And, and, and shooting elbows and, you know, pull-up shots from inside, you know, inside the arc. So, those are just the things I, I look. And, you know, he got to get stronger. Most of these young guys do. Um, he gets stronger. He'll be able to guard some tools. Um, he'll be able to hold his own in, you know, a little bit with the uh, with the pick, um, with the the pick threes. But he got 6'6 six, six arms, 6'3". Six, so he got way above average height. He almost got two guard, like combo guard, two guard height. Um, he got arm length, 6'6". Six, six. He's 19 years old, so he's going to get bigger, stronger. And Mason here today with us. He's going to get bigger, stronger, and um, he's going to go to sleep. Um, like, he, he got everything. He's the best point guard I've seen so far. He can play mate. He good off the pick and roll. He can find it. And obviously, he's going to force some passes in his you know, his point guard skill is going to kind of get better and he's not going to have a high turnover ratio or force passes down the stretch. When he kind of learn in the league and clean it up, he's going to be good. He's going to get stronger. He's going to hit the weight room. He's going to become a better uh, uh, playmaker. And the issue with him is a lot of people in these players, they look at these kids to be finished. This ain't Brandon Roy that did three or four years in college. This ain't, you know, this ain't your grandfather's Danny Mannings and, and guys of that nature. You know, these guys are coming out of college, coming out of college, or coming overseas, basically like high school players. You got to, you know, work on some things to get stronger. Uh, and really, I don't really see no real holes in his game. I think, I think he might be one of the better players in this draft. And I, and I just think I'm not saying he's flawless, but I don't see that big flaw. And then also, I don't know him coming from a small town in Alabama. I don't know how he's gonna handle the big lights. But also, you know, if it is gonna be a flaw, it's best gonna be his work ethic or him getting money, and that's the only way I can see this kid failing. Or he ain't that confident he could play on this level. And, you know, he played on the international team, I think the 19, 18, and under team, and they won gold in Greece. Only way I see him failing is injury, like Sean Livingston, or, or you know, his work ethic, or getting money changed him, or the Bryce being too light, or having a fear of flying like Royce White. That's the only way this dude is is, is worth, you know, I think he worth going in the top five or three. They talk about LaMelo. You want to get the best player available. You want to get the best player available. And I and I think, you know, scouting these dudes, Obi Toppins don't have D. LaMelo Ball, you know, he got to get stronger, but he a good player. Edwards, he a tremendous player. He can play above the rim, but shot selection. Um, James Wiseman, he about a year or two ready to play. He don't understand how to play defense. You know, his technique is sorry. He got to get bigger, stronger, lower body. You know, I think he could be a good player down the line. So it's a lot of questionable things going up there, um, up at the top of the draft. And I, and I think, uh, I think Kerry Lewis, Tyrese Maxey, Sadiq Bay, Aaron Neesmith, some of them dudes, you know, in the middle or the late of the draft, Theo from France, they better than Killian. They better than some of them dudes up there. Okoro love his game. Hale Burton love his game. But some of them dudes behind them that can go outside the top 10 is truly, you know, some of the better players that I've seen in a draft this year. And this is just my opinion. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the video. But if I'm at seven, um, you know, when I talk about this, Kira Lewis is definitely, even I'm going to trade back up and get him. But my two favorite players, I love to see the Pistons get Kira Lewis and Maxie. 
They're phenomenal players, and I think they got star potential. But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, call, response, or video request. All my social media links are in the description. Check us out on Sportscaster. The link in the description, www.sportscaster.com, S-P-O-R-T-S-C-A-S-T-R. For all my content creators, Sportscaster, they um, monetize on day one. Got a great scoreboard, so if you want to go live for the game, works well with stream. Yard and OBS as well too. So check it out. And if you want to make a donation, my cash app is CJ Good313. PayPal link in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. We gone.